Hi, Stacy. Look hey, what Mary. I found. What did you find? Well, I on June 3rd, I saw my very first monarch butterfly. And nice. then two days later on June 5th, I was walking on one of the trails and I saw that the mower was coming and right in their path was this milkweed. So I checked underneath the leaf. Sure enough, there were some eggs. So I, I picked it to rescue those monarch caterpillars and now you can see them. Oh nice, them. can I look? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I bet they're tiny if it was just the, the fifth. Yeah, they just <gasps> hatched. Oh they... my gosh, they're so small. Mm -hmm. I love it when they're that tiny. I mean, they're as small as like a half a grain of rice. They're, they're so small. They're very small. They and are so cool. I love monarch caterpillars and I love monarch butterflies. You know, my mom was a science teacher so she showed us a lot of really cool stuff. And one of the things she showed us was um, the life cycle of a monarch caterpillar. So we would raise a caterpillar at the beginning of the season and let the butterfly go. And it was just so cool. I yeah, just It's them. pretty fascinating. We, my daughter and I also do the same thing with a couple early in the summer. And it's just so fascinating to see how quickly they grow. Mm -hmm. We call them eating, growing, pooping machines. <laughs> so <laughs> they really get bigger. So Mary, do you know, how do they get their name? Well, monarchs are bigger caterpillars and they're this bright orange color. So they're very visible. When the settlers first came to the North America, they saw these beautiful caterpillars and they thought, hmm, that orange color reminds us of Prince William of Orange. Now, he wasn't orange himself. Okay, good. He came from an, a region of France called Orange. Gotcha. So that's how they got the, the name. And, you know, he later became King William III of England, King Monarch Bingo. Gotcha. Yeah. So. I don't know if our guests know that monarchs, caterpillars, and adults are poisonous. Do you want to tell them why they're poisonous? Well, when I first picked this, this milkweed and I put it in the water, there is a white sap that came out into the water. That sap, that's how it gets its name, milkweed, because it looks like milk, but it's actually toxic and uh, it's called cardiac glycosides are inside of it and those are toxic to animals and people so right. you should wash your hands after you handle cut milkweed it's a good so idea. that helps them that's a defense mechanism so the birds don't eat them that's right and i don't know if guests know there's another butterfly who's a mimic they're an imposter they look a lot like a monarch butterfly but they're smaller and their hind wings have a stripe they don't eat toxic milkweed but they are they look just like very much like the monarchs so that they don't get predated or eaten by lots of predators that's right that orange color means stop don't eat me right and since they have that color you know it's funny the name of that butterfly is called a viceroy and if there is a kingdom whose king is not able to rule there will be a viceroy who steps in to lead that that kingdom so isn't that a funny thing that's they named them that too. You know what I think is interesting too is that they're one of those amazing insects that the last generations that are born at the end of the summer, this small lightweight insect can migrate all the way to Texas and even further to Mexico. Oh, it is amazing. And do you know those same butterflies that overwinter in Mexico, they fly back in the spring. Now those to Texas. They yeah. come to Texas. They don't come all the way to Minnesota, but right. but their their uh, next generations do. Right. And their next generations do. And the way that we found that out was through a citizen science project. Mm -hmm. It actually started through University of Kansas mm -hmm. with some researchers and they would put these tiny little tags, lightweight tags they look like return address stickers uh -huh. on the hind wing with a number so that if they're tagged in North America and they get recovered in Mexico and turn them in, then they could fig then they figured out their migratory path. That's, so they're fascinating insects. They so. are. Well, you know, the people down in Mexico, they knew that the, me the monarch butterflies came there all the time. They come just about the time of Dios de la Muerto. So and in the end of October. Yeah. Perfect. Well, this is absolute perfect timing, Mary. Thanks. Because this is the beginning of our Monarch Madness Week. We're so excited about monarchs and hope you are too. Stay tuned later this week for there'll be a story about monarchs as well as there will be a monarch walk that you can follow to learn more about the life cycle and the lives of monarch butterflies. 
take care and get outside when you can. Bye. Bye-bye.